now, another MTG Casual Commander. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Vlad from MTG Casual Commander, and Don Father Games has sent us an entire case of pre-release kits. There's 15, and we just happen to have 15 players trying to come up with an interesting way to open these for Don Father Games. And I think the best way to do it is just have a good old-fashioned value competition. We're going to pit our players up against each other to see how much value they can pull out of their pre-release kit. We'll come up with an interesting prize for the player that pulls the most value out of their pre-release kit. Hey guys, what's up? It's Johnny Boy here at MTG Casual Commander. I got the knife and I got the box. We have a box full of boxes from Don Father Games. We're gonna be opening it up here on the channel. Each player's got a box. What kind of box is it? You might be wondering. Oh, I was gonna have trouble getting these out. Nope, perfect. It's a Lost Caverns of Ixland pre-release box. In my opinion, the pre-release boxes are some of the best value in the game. So I'm pretty stoked to be opening this up and see what's inside. Oh, they got the rip, uh, the rips part on the side here. But you need fingernails. I got one. I haven't seen any of this set yet other than uh, what we've been sharing. You only have one fingernail? Just one, just the one. All right, so interesting packaging. Some spelunking, a spelunking elf. Some of your random chits that you're gonna put in the garbage most likely. I don't think anybody does anything with those. If you're using those. Um, I like to eat them. When I guess that's I good for you. You boil them first and then you eat them. Kind of chew them up. Oh, you got a little bit of a panorama. Look at that, that's pretty cool. That explains a lot. There's no money after buying magic cards. You gotta eat those things. All right, some cool art on the box. Let's hey, see what we got. <laughs> we got our die. Our life counter. It's blue. And we got our packs, which is my favorite part of the pre release kit, right? Random insert, a card divider, promo card here, right? Yeah, it's got the arena and thing on it, going on it too, and now. Yeah, whatever, we'll flash the, the code. Give it out. If anybody plays Arena. Millennium Calendar. I don't play Arena, so I don't, I don't know. There's your... Is that a mythic for your promo? Go ahead, have at it. Mythic for your promo. That's pretty sweet. And in color. Are these uh, randomized, the promos, or does everybody get them? No, they're, they're, they're completely randomized. Yeah. Really? Yep. Sweet. So I'm already um, doing well good. with my value. I would well, say. For a pre-release kit, getting a colorless mythic like that. Colorless mythic. You deck you pick, so. Oh, yeah, I guess in pre-release. Yeah, for a fun card, too. All right, let's see. Got the Ray of Ruin. Poison Dark Frog. Love me some Dark Frogs. Relic's Roar. Thousand Moons Crack Shot. Atali's Favor, River Herald Guide. Mephitic Drought. Brian Fang. Tent of Sunscribe. Swashbuckler's Whip. Night of the Ancestors. Oh no, the Flying Codpiece. The Flying Codpiece. Pugnacious Hammer Skull. Oh my goodness, it's a dinosaur. Who would have thought? Whenever Pugnacious Hammer Skull attacks while you don't control another dinosaur, put a stun counter on it. If a permanent with a stun counter would become untapped, remove one from it instead. Interesting. Hidden Cataract and the old Vampire Demon one-sided token. All right. A little bit of a dud there. I'm not gonna lie. I'm looking for the big money cards. I want my prime value. I'm not going to call out all of these. Um, Where is it? Mana Vault is the big one. 
Cavernous Souls. Cavernous and, Souls. And the White God. Plundering Pirate. Hunter's Blowgun. Dinotomaton. Yeah, let's get up there. I saw some little. There's a little foily back there. There we go. The sun's Avatar. That's the card we're looking for. At least I'm looking for. I'll take it. That's going to be a nice addition to some of my decks. Hidden Volcano and the old blank token. Good deal. Now, is that Gishop the same abilities as the old one, or is that a brand new Gishop? Oh, that looks kind new of neat. Abilities. That's really cool. Like we needed another one of those. Oh, is that a new? Is It's a new Gishop, yeah. All right, let's take a quick peek at it. Vigilance, Trample, and Haste, three good qualities. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, reveal that many cards from the top of your library. Put any number of dinosaur creature cards from among them onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Well, that's not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. Deconstruction hammer. I like the cards. I like the art. Oh, I'm kind of already... Showing right there, but that's a uh, rare foily that we got coming up. Magmatic Galleon. The Thousand Moon Smithy. Smithy! Woo-wee! It's my favorite Smithy. Smithy enters the battlefield. Create a white gnome soldier artifact. Token. With this creature's power and toughness are each equal to the number of artifacts and or creatures you control. Uh, don't give that to... And then it flips around. Don't... It becomes... Don't give that to Josh. A sweet land. Barracks of the Thousand. Nice. Legendary artifact land. That's a nice finish on that card. Kinda. Captivating Cave and the old gnome token, which you're going to need plenty of. Yeah, there's a few gnomes. There's a few gnomes. Looks like the, that was the uh, old gift shop. So it might have been a uh, ghost card. Packed them real tight. Uh, my compliments to the guy at the glue factory. <laughs> He's like, how can I make it so no one can get in here? Ooh, Quatley. I like it. Tithing Blade. Dreadmaw's Ire, Kalani's Hatcher. Do not give that to Tom. No. Tom is banned from this video. He can't see me. this. Oh, it's your Jurassic Park nice. card. Unfortunately, it's, it's a land. Swamp. Yeah, I heard. Uh, That's kind of cool. I like a it. A lot though. of issues with that. That's one of the dra lands are one of the Jurassic Park cards that you can get. I know. Yeah. I mean, it makes me kind of. Uh, what are they? One in every twelve packs. That's just a yeah. full art card. The Jurassic Park ones will have like park things. They'll have a Jurassic Park. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We got two packs left here. Vito's Inquisitor. Is that Uncle Vito? Cousin Vito? I know Vito. Don Vito. Don Vito. Don Vito. Primordial Nar. Another chance. Cartographer's Companion. Where are we at? The belligerent. Whenever the belligerent attacks, create a treasure token. Until end of turn, you may look at the top card of your library anytime, and you may play lands and cast spells from the top of your library. Crew three. That sounds like a Tom card, too. And you can't sell that to Josh either, Butters. Yeah. Vehicles are Josh. Promising vein and the vampire demon. All right, we got our last pack, so. Big money. This is going to be the big money card. Where are we at? Oh, another poison dark frog. That's always helpful. Till hey. the end of turn, target artifact poison or creature becomes frog. a dinosaur artifact creature with base power toughness 4 3 in addition to its other types. Not bad. Let's 
stage of days. Wow, you you have no shortage of boilies in this. Uh... No, they're they're kind of popping up everywhere, right? <coughs> oh man, resplendent angel. Oh, nice. That's really cool. All right, beginning of each end step. If you gain five or more life this turn, create a 4-4 white angel creature token with flying and vigilance. You can't abuse that at all. And you got the sweet art with it, too. Yeah, that's a really cool, that's a really cool card. I like that. Child of the Volcano, our hidden courtyard. And garbage, or recycling, if you will. Well, thanks for letting me crack these packs with you guys, and thanks to Don Father Games for uh, sending this box of packs over. We got uh, more to come. I think everybody's going to get a whack at one of these, and we'll see uh, who gets the best value. Um, I think so far. We'll calculate up I'll, what you I'm got. In the, I'm in the lead. I think <laughs> you are in the lead. We'll put you right up there. All right. Head like and subscribe. See you next time. And after our first of 15 pre-release kits, Johnny is going to take that number one spot with $39.50 in value in his pre-release kit. He does have 14 more players ready to try and take that spot from him. Trample that like button. And if you dare, comment below. Let the magic continue.